Oh, hi there, Cass. As you may know, we recently started our journey of Twitch integration with By The Bullet. So we thought it would be cool to share some quick tips for devs looking to add Twitch interactives to their games. Tip number one, make it easy. Streamers are under a lot of pressure while doing what they do best, having to juggle recording, interacting with their audiences, and of course, playing the game. Keep them in mind when designing your interactives and do everything you can to reduce the amount of UI actions required to enable a Twitch integration. A clunky interface or complicated menu will decrease the chances of people actually using the integration feature you've worked so hard to implement. Tip number two, make it pop. Use engaging graphics as visual feedback so viewers can have a clear way of knowing if their input and actions are having any effect on the streamer's gameplay. Additionally, this will help to signal which elements of gameplay are from the Twitch integration and which are native to the game itself. So make sure every viewer action triggers multiple layers of visual feedback. For example, if a Twitch integration spawns an enemy, you could give that enemy a different color and display the name of the audience member who triggered it. Minor additions like these will be more engaging and rewarding for viewers that take the time to use your integrations. Tip number three, give power to your streamer. There are streamers of all sizes, but every one of them likes to be in control of their stream. Make sure to give the streamer the ability to tune the balance of the Twitch integration feature in relation to their audience's size. In the case of channel point rewards, let streamers set the cost of each reward as well as being able to discuss specific reward options. Streamers with smaller viewership may prefer lower costs for rewards to not limit their audience from participating. Inversely, streamers with a larger audience will prefer making rewards cost more, preventing them from being spammed with integration effects during replay. Tip number four, tame your bots. Make sure to carefully limit the amount of text the bot is outputting to the chat. If not handled carefully, the streamer may feel the bot is too intrusive and is flooding the chat. This includes text which is given in response to viewer commands such as help commands. Limit the sending rate based upon message size, the time elapsed since you last sent a message, and also upon how many other user messages have passed since the last output message. For example, only allow a larger help command response to be posted at most once every 30 seconds and if 10 other chat messages have since been sent by other chatters. We hope now you have some ideas to implement Twitch interactives into your game. If you have any questions or would like some feedback, just jump on our Discord channel and let our dev team and community have a look at your project. Best of luck and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.